Roots to Wellbeing uses the five ways to well-being to support your mental health. Connect, take notice, keep learning, be active and give. Thanks for watching. Hello everybody. My name is Diego Pangolino. I live and work in Italy and I am a music therapist and a musician. Today I work in many different scopes, such as uh, kindergartens and primary schools, after school centers, psychiatric communities, centers for disabled people, retirement homes, public institutions, corporations. Music therapy is part of the arts therapy family, where we can find also dance therapy, theater therapy, pet therapy. It works with the techniques of emotional and relational expression, forms of self-knowledge, focus and relaxation that allow people to enter deeply in contact with their own self and with others. To channel their attention and express their emotional and relational experience through a form of non-verbal and artistic and motorial expression. And this is applicable to everyone. To me, the person is always at the center of my work. I work with the people and for the people. So it is extremely important to take absolute care for them, for their safety and their wellness. And since every one of us is unique in his or herself, that's why I don't use always the same method or solution for every same situation, because I couldn't. It would be unsuccessful and flattening, especially when I have to work with the mental users. I need the time to get acquainted, first of all, in order to plan an action strategy and the better way to put it into practice. I use uh, various techniques and methods in accordance with the different types of users I refer to. Not only the traditional methods of music therapy, like uh, the auditory dialogue where uh, uh, you ha have all the people in a circle and uh, let them uh, produce uh, a sound, a personal sound, something that is not uh, linked to, uh, to an artistic idea, but just to some, uh, something of emotional, of personal, of coming from inside, and where uh, it is strictly non-verbal because uh, the use of the language should be an obstacle to let uh, the, the, the inner uh, feelings uh, of each one of us come out in a natural way. The sound has the magic power to express without the need of words. And so this is the great power of uh, this form of therapy. But I use also other techniques of musical expression, like uh, the drum circle and the body percussion or body music. Body percussion is intended when, when uh, you only play a rhythm upon your body. If you put also the voice, it becomes body music. So I can do something like do uh, da da do da. Okay. I try to stay updated about new techniques, methods and ideas coming out every day in the whole world because to me this is important to keep learning. Um, for the active uh, situations uh, um, where I can make the users uh, play directly by themselves, basically I use percussions which are the most efficient and direct instruments at all, and also the body itself. For people with the 
physical disabilities and mental disorders in particular, the percussions and the body are the easiest instruments to be played. And the same goes for the children or for people of any age without any knowledge or previous experience of music. The use of the body and of the voice as a musical instrument represents the primary and most sophisticated instrument that nature gave us. It is quite simple to use for its immediacy and for the direct contact with ourselves that it allows. It's my favorite method to work with, if possible, because it lets people explore themselves and others and increase their self-awareness. Percussions, like uh, drums uh, in particular, but also we have uh, here frame drums, uh, shakers, uh, um, tambourines, uh, claves, uh, um, are very easy to use, to be used. They need a simple and direct sound gesture to get a gratifying sound, and their frequencies are connected with the roots of our physical body and with our origins as human beings. That's why they sound so immediately familiar and attractive almost to everybody. On the other hand, if I have to run a session where people just listen and don't act, I like, uh, like the sound healing sessions. I usually prefer to use uh, Tibetan bowls. I have some here. Or ocean drums, frame uh, or shamanic drums. Tom steel drums, Koshi chimes, that is this wonderful instrument I have here. It's magic. Then uh, gongs, uh, so on. These instruments are more delicate and complex. Their function is different from uh, the first uh, ones for their, they help to enter into a deep uh, state of relaxation and for meditation. And so they need to be played by someone who knows how to do it. If not, they wouldn't sound uh, uh, and won't perform uh, their function and also they risk to be broken if not treated properly. Well, this kind of work gives people the opportunity to vent what they have inside, their sufferings, uh, frustrations, anger, pain, desires, hopes, joy, without having the trouble and also the obstacle to rationalize it and to verbalize it. Operations that would require a proper mental and emotional structure that's not always so easy to apply to our lives. In music therapy, one can do this in a sort of unconscious way that works in the innermost layer of our minds and gives us a final sense of release and lightness, giving the possibility to express oneself's sensations, feelings, emotions, thoughts, without using the direct speech, is the great advantage of these forms of therapies, and it is particularly suitable for those with physical and mental disabilities that prevent from talking. And to me, this is the way to give. I think that music therapy, like all the other art therapies, has a lot to give to the mental health system, and that to, and that, and that it should be taken in greater account for the cure of mental disorders, thanks to its possibilities and features that work in a less ordinary way than usual. Thank you very much. It's for little miracles like those that I do my work.
If you feel inspired and want to learn ways to support your mental health, please subscribe to our channel. Or you can find us at www.rootstowellbeing.org. And if you would like to get involved in future videos, please contact hello at rootstowellbeing.org. Thank you.